Alright, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be reviewing this, which is the B10 Gaming Mouse. I'm sure you've seen it, it's all over Amazon. It is a super affordable gaming mouse. Now I've had this for about a week. I've been using it as a regular mouse. I usually use a different wireless mouse, but I gave this a shot for a week and admittedly it's not that bad actually. Of course it has this LED here, which is one of the highlights of it. Now, I was a little bit uh, confused because if you look on the Amazon, the picture shows a picture of a red one and a blue one side by side. And I thought it was interchangeable, like there's a switch on the bottom. But when I looked further into it, they said that it shipped randomly if you had a red or a blue, which I'm not too fond of that idea. Like, I'm not too big of a fan of red or rather, ha rather have blue, but it still looks really cool. Now, one more complaint I have about this is, if you rest your fingers on this, I use three fingers, some mice use uh, two fingers. If you rest your, th your finger on this, this finger, a lot of times will accidentally click because it's such a light button press. Which should be useful for most games because it would be much mouse travel, but I'm not a huge fan of it. But still, overall, this is not a bad mouse. Now. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see the performance of it just looking at it, so I'm going to set a camera onto my laptop, and we're going to take a look at it first person. Alright, so we're back at my gaming setup. I have the mouse here, so you know I'm using the right mouse, and we're going to play GTA San Andreas. Now I was going to play Gmod, but it kept crashing, so we're going to play this instead. This is also a good game. Now, the mouse is very responsive. I mean, for the price range, it's $13, and that's not terrible. Anyone can afford $13 for a mouse. What people can afford is $60 for a mouse for one that color changes, one that uh, adjusts DPI, they can change the mouse buttons, whatever. Most people can't afford that, so that's why this is a cool mouse. I mean, for $13, you think you wouldn't get a good mouse, but. I mean, this isn't terrible. I've been using it for a week. I have to do a lot of schoolwork on my laptop, and I went and used this. Now, there are some downsides. I mean, like, I wish the mouse was a bit taller, because it's a bit, like, uncomfortable to hold at times, I guess. But it's still comfortable. One other problem I have is on the edges, they have a little bit of an overhang, like a lip thing. I don't know if you can see that. That catches on a lot of stuff. Like, if I leave that in my bag and try to take it out, it catches on my bag. That's also a problem. Not a big deal. But, yeah, I mean, it's responsive. I can use it for stuff. Really, what else do you need the mouse besides... Nothing, actually. So, yeah, we'll head over to the uh, review station and wrap this up. So, yeah, overall, this is not a bad mouse. On Amazon, they're going for about $13, and it's worth every penny. I mean, it's not a $50 mouse with 18,000 programmable buttons and a bunch of LEDs that flash all the time. But, I mean, if you're just a starting out gamer, like you want to play CSGO on a mouse, definitely get this. Alright, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.